Today we're going to learn how a tier 2 team prepares and tries to win Ascension in EMEA. <laughs> Today we are playing an official against Enterprise Esports from the Ascent Bootcamp facility in Sofia. Game on! How's winning Ascension this year? What's that gonna feel like? Musashi. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he hit like <laughs> And with that bang, it's game time against the Sen's former rivals in the East Surge. And this was a game full of back and forths and some crazy moments. But it started with this pistol around here, where Sen are in a good spot. They've got the spike down, they're in a 3v2, the spike is planted for CT, and we've got two players in CT, but the two defenders are coming from long and hooker, but it doesn't go that great. The Patagod przerotował nam do hooki. Hendrik coś, coś próbuje, Patagod z jedną eliminacją. I kolejną! Teraz Hendrik, Hendrik kontra Brody. To okaże się lepszy. Patagod jeszcze bezpiecznie sprawdza pozycję swojego rywala i Brody jest usamotniony, coraz mniej czasu Uf. Brody z jednym fragiem z klasika i Enri kontra Brody Brody tak naprawdę nie musi wychylać Spak nie jest jeszcze rozprajany, coraz mniej czasu Enri kontra Brody, Enri kontra Brody Enric wygrywa tą przebitkę czasu jest wystarczająco i pierwsza runda na koncie Enterprise From there, Ascend would win the anti-bonus round though and come to round 4 and this was a big one, the score is 2-1 and they've managed to take the A site here against a passive cypher hold just with trips on the site and Brody is about to try and get the spike down but it doesn't go that well Ten spike site, ten, ten trapwire bardzo głęboko zagrywany Cancer, jedna eliminacja, spike nie jest podłożony. And now Ascend are in a really tough position because first of all they have to go and retrieve the spike of course which is in a pretty dangerous position just there and they do manage to get some kills back and forth. Uh, Chiwa is going to find a kill but then Cancer gets another one just there and then Cypher ults and escapes and whilst they did pick up the spike they're now all revealed to be in this one tiny area just here. They have no map control whatsoever and they are completely trapped and what do they do from here and it's a very interesting choice they make probably what is the correct choice which is to take the tp all three players are going to take the tp now this comes does come with problems as well right you hear the tp sound three times as the defenders you know that all three players again are definitely there right you have very good information but ascend they take their chances they take their risks that they have to do this because otherwise they were completely trapped and now they're gonna try and make a quick B play and try and get there as fast as they can. And so you see, it's kind of a race here for the B site. But again, something's gonna go wrong. Hendrik with his pull, więc faktycznie Orbital Tech zablokował gracza Acel. I co teraz robić? Czy wracać na czy? Yep, as they're trying to come out onto the B site, they get brimulted. And now this is panic stations, right? Because after this brimul is gone, obviously they can't go through it. They have to just retreat. Again, they still don't quite know where everyone even is necessarily on B. And the time now is becoming a problem for them as well so at this point they feel like we just kind of have to force it be but this is a horrific position to be in right you can see that the viper has very good control if they did decide to come back to a and that means that basically you got a 3v3 here with basically no time left you have to get the spike down it's an awful position to be in but then something miraculous happens <laughs> No i teraz e, trzeba po prostu skazać hady. Chihuahua faktycznie to zdobywa Enric odpowiedział. On dalej ma niezwykle ważną pozycję, dużo co swojego Mołotowa i blokuje gracza ten 10 sekund na zaplantowanie Spike'a, a Patagot zdobywa eliminację. Tylko Alain w życiu e, udaje się zdobyć fraga, ale on musi to zaplantować. Jest jeszcze na to czas! Dorzuca Nade'a, ale nie e, będzie chyba czasu. Nie ma czasu? Udało się. Oj, 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 Alain! Oh! Yes! Alive! Sklatsem! Jako to... Now I don't know how many 1v3s with 10 seconds left and 4 HP at the end of it you've seen, but there is one of them. And Alive and Ascend would take the momentum from that clutch and turn it into round win after round win, including some really nice execs like this one with the Seekers. Jeżeli chodzi o poprzednie kompozycje, no to tam wcale ten e, orb e, dla Seifera nie jest taki głupi, ale już tutaj widzimy przyspieszenie, jeżeli chodzi o Ascent. Pod huką jest Enric, który nie zniszczył tych szperaczy. Wow. Alive dorzuca eliminację przez Smoka. No i co? 
kebab. So you see that Alive is just frying out of his mind, but I like the way that they approach this round as well. You see that they've grouped up towards Hookah here, they've got everyone towards here, and they've got Chihuahua who's already taken the long control here as well. But what I like about this is that they don't, you know, actually go and take Hooker and make that kind of a known thing for Enterprise beforehand, because the Seekers are going to clear all of this out for them anyway, right? The Seekers are going to tell them if there is someone close left, if there is anyone close in Hooker. So instead, they're able to just go for it. This Brim is going to get hit by the Seekers underneath Hooker just there. You see, you know, the Alive recognizes that, gets the kill, then the Brim as well to make sure no one else can flood out. And just like that, the site's over, 5v3 end of the round. But there were some other incredible moments that allowed Ascend to just keep winning round after round as well. Like right here, we are in a 4v3 in favor of Enterprise. So not great, but we got a Viper's Pit down on the site. But that 4v3 is about to become a 4v2. But then guess what happens next? I am uh, to play trap wire w ogóle. Um, Aleksik eliminuje Chihuahua, Buddy Jeep w końcu wychodzi z tego ultimate, ale z jedną eliminacją. Ale, uh, przepraszam, Alek dorzuca jedną. Buddy G z tym króciakiem. Buddy G! Świetnie tą rundę rozgrywa. A so Ascend with the momentum of all those clutches were able to eventually get it to an 8-4 half. But then Enterprise came back in a big way and they did not stop. Po swoim koncie ze słabszym wyposażeniem wychyla z chcąc chcące brać informacje. Nie wiem czy było potrzebne. Aleksik! Właśnie Kamila czy Outlaw'a. No to właśnie te, te małe tarcze bardzo często są zagrywane problemy. Oh, oh, no, that's not great. Ooh, I'm struggling. I'm struggling on defense here a bit. No to miałby na pewno kłopoty Hasa z jedną eliminacją. Buddy G eliminuje Aleksika. Buddy G z kolejną eliminacją. Hendrik oh, no. też upada. Kasy, oh, kasy! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it was going so well for us. Oh no. And then we got to this position. Round number 22, it's 11-10 to ascend. It's incredibly tense and close. And it's not going to start off well in this round either, as Alexit managed to get a kill with the attacking up and ascend are in a bad spot. So they decide to proactively then push B, right? If we get a kill out towards Shao, let's come and take the space out towards B. And they get into a pretty good position here, right? We are now deep in B and we have players watching kind of both sides that they come if they are going to actually come out towards B. The problem is, and this is going to be a problem, is you're playing against a Cypher in double Cypher trips, right? So if they do come towards A, any flank that you go for isn't going to be, you know, without notice, right? So that's a big problem. And Musashi's position here that he ends up in kind of see that he ends up in a spot where you know they could come from this side they could come from the kind of cave side instead but he decides I can jump over the trip and he gets very unlucky because just as he decided to do that Enterprise decided to come back the other way so they actually heard him Koś Aten zamknął przeciwnika tylko no właśnie problem są linki świetnie Musashi przeskoczył ale chyba słyszeli go they heard him and now he's dead oh my god and as you saw for that, he paid for it with his life. And now Baddy G is in a terrible spot, right? They could come from either side here, so you don't know which way you need to be looking necessarily to find the next kills. You are the only obstacle stopping them from getting onto the B site. It's a 5v3. You can't really escape from this spot either, so you kind of just have to fight it out and see what you can do. But he goes massive. Now Buddy needs three here though. <gasps> One, two, <laughs> so Baddy goes absolutely huge, but there's still problems for Ascend. Yes, it's a 2v2 and now the round is certainly winnable, but Enterprise still have enough time to go either side if they want to. So they have to keep one player on A and send one over towards B as well. And Alexic with his off is still pretty good. Brody. Oj, 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 Brody! Spike podkładany. Buddy G naprawdę chciał uratować tą, tę rundę. Mm, ale Alexi cały czas stelowany. Alexi kontra Chihuahua. Alexi trzecia eliminacja. So now, it's 11-11. And it's not looking great. And the buy isn't necessarily that great for Ascend either. And Enterprise, actually, they wait basically a whole minute just waiting for Ascend to potentially do something. But Ascend just sit there. They're happy to just sit, especially with the Cypher trips up on B, right? They feel confident that they can just hold the site. And then you get this mess in here. It's kind of difficult to tell from the map exactly what goes on. You see that the dog kind of catches Alexic or maybe sees him or something. A Brody walks up with it at the same time and they just kind of run right into each other. And eventually Brody is the one who's going to find that kill. It's very weird on the map, but they find the kill. And now you've only got 30 seconds left. They don't have a ton of control and your jet is now dead. So basically whatever happened there towards short, 
is going to determine this round because you see that the time is ticking and ticking and ticking and ticking and ticking. And yeah, sure, Patrick got Garnage just to get that kill, but now we've got 19 seconds left. You're trying to exec in a 4v3. Ten tripwire, da prawda, może zrobić robotę. Wpada ten tripwire, Patagot, Brody, Alive, Enric. Sam zostaje na placu boju, dokładnie jedną eliminację. Bardzo mało, mało czasu. E, chyba powinni dojeżdżać go zawodnicy Asen już w tym momencie. On w ogóle fejkuje po raz kolejny, także uniemożliwia sobie wygranie tej rundy już w 100%. It's not, it's not that they are bad, they are just better. Because I have camera behind me, so I have to say. And then really the final round, round number 24, was kind of the same thing from Enterprise as well, where it just looked like they were kind of just hoping that Alexic could maybe get the opening kill for them here. And you'll see that when Alexic dies there to Alive uh, with the op, it feels like they don't really know exactly what to do at this point, right? Literally all four players are spread out across all four of the different lanes of the map. They go for this weird Viper's pit just out towards A to create some pressure and create some confusion. But that doesn't really work either because Ascend have still just got the Cypher sitting over here towards B. So they feel confident that, you know, a Viper and a Cypher can hold a site by themselves and have three players here over towards A, you know, and just chill and wait. And even if they do need to retake, you're in a 5v4, so you just feel fine. And Enterprise, it kind of ends up with a weird spot here where Brody is going to die to that snake bite that just got put down at the end there. But he does manage to kill the Viper's Pit. Now we've only got like 35 seconds left. Our Cypher is chilling over this side of the map. We still got multiple players, you know, and we're yet to break the Cypher setup on B. And we're just in a bad spot. And then eventually here, you're going to see that uh, Musashi is going to find the kill here on, on our Cypher as time is now running down. We just have to brute force our way in, but it's not gonna work. Imagine we win a stitch. What are we doing?